tape is like this with your hand. Okay. A flaccid stage to a um, spastic stage. Okay, so we are starting to get some retraction on the flexor muscles, rigidity in the joints, reduce blood circulation, reduce treatment. Here is to apply a tape which is going to help the drainage of the hand because you see the difference between the hands, obviously. Okay, so you see there's a DMA. Okay, so hand is. There's no real temperature difference, but we have edema, okay? So we want to improve the blood circulation drainage towards the, towards the hand, which means we're going to apply the tape on the dorsal part of the hand as we did yesterday. The patient has pain here. The patient has pain in the shoulder. Okay. Even though his range is reasonably okay. Okay, we have the beginning of a subluxation of the head of the humerus. Okay, so you feel here under the under the acromion. So we have the beginning of uh, the falling of the head of the humerus. Okay, so we need to treat the shoulder and the hand as well as the neck, okay? The neck yesterday, because that is as close as we can get centrally. So, if we can take this shirt, especially anterior. And so, we need to apply a tape, which is going to work in the superficial aspect of the body, which means we're going to cut a tape as a fan, leaving just two centimeters as the base, and cut into five strips just like this, okay? Okay, so here with the shoulder, okay? Pain, yeah. Pain. Even though he's not going to say it's painful, you can feel this is the limit of the movement. You can feel, okay? Has pain like this? He's not saying, yeah, no. Okay, you feel this is the limit of his movement, okay? So, let's just get to the patient to rotate hands with him, chair. Okay. Cover the posterior aspect of the shoulder. So the first one. We're going to go down towards the posterior elbow, um, posterior armpit corner and to apply like that. Second one, we're still going to apply straight, just like that. Third one, still straight, leaving that one centimeter, <coughs> two centimeters between one tape and another, okay? So we want to cover the whole surface area posterior to the shoulder. Okay. At this point, the skin is stretched, so we applied one, two, and three. Here, the skin is not stretched, so we have to lower the shoulder until 45 degrees, which means now the skin is stretched. And now we continue to apply the tape like this, no tension. Stick the tape before you move. Okay. okay. So it's when the shoulder comes back, you see how the tape is creating that waveform, which is going to reduce the local tension. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. We are going to also activate it with your hand, like this, in this way. Okay. So the more wrinkles, the more decompression we are going to create. See the pectoral muscle here, how it is starting to go into retraction, which means it is going to bring the head of the humerus down and internally rotated. So we need to work on the pectoral muscle in elongation. Okay. 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 Up until the limit of the movement. Okay. So again here, just look to this direction. Okay, so the first one. So here, we're going to go straight to the anterior armpit corner, change the direction, and go on the medial border of the biceps. Just like that. Second one, stretching the skin in the opposite direction and then in the middle of the biceps. Third one, stretch the skin, apply the tape. Now we're going on the lateral border of the biceps. Okay. So here our objective is to maintain good elasticity on the biceps, okay? Especially the long head, short head, okay? And its involvement of the um, acromion, okay? Like that. So here the skin is stretched, but here the skin is not stretched, which means we have to lower, okay, to 45 degrees, and then we continue to apply the tape, okay? So, you have to make sure that there is no tension on the tape, and we apply the tape like this. So, stretch the skin below the clavicle, and then go down the opposite, opposite direction. Okay. So it has to be below the clavicle. Okay. So, also here, when we move towards the front, we're going to create the decompression on the pectoral muscle, biceps, and the anterior deltoid. Okay. In this way. Okay, and you see already the range of movement of the patient has increased, okay? And there's less limitation in the movement, okay? Even in the abduction, you see how the arm raises higher, which means there's less muscle retraction. So we apply the tape before your mobilization in this way. Okay. Thin up and to apply the tape beside the spine, just like that. Okay. One on one side, one on the other side. Stretch the skin up, no tension. Stick and then rub on top. Okay. First do those and then another one just beside, leaving half a centimeter distance. Stretch up and to apply. So same level, as symmetrical as possible. Okay. Okay. So the head comes up. Okay. And so 
to see how it is starting to work down. Which is going to relax the muscle fiber and to dilate the whole brachial plexus from the posterior aspect. Also, the capacity of the abduction is increased. Okay, you want to appeal? Your sure, patient, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you feel that the joint is, is freer, okay, it has a bigger range of mobility, okay, and the pain comes later. Just apply. Maybe even the hand is less swollen. Okay. Just like that. No tension. Sticking like that. Now into a flex position, and then apply the tape. No tension on the dorsal. Okay. Stick before you move, and then grab on top. centimeters okay into flexion by the tape no tension stick the tape just like that okay then into flex twist and no tension like this with your hand. Okay. Now if you just want to mobilize the hand a little bit and to, so to see whether he still has pain. At the end of the movement, yeah, but it's later. It's at the maximum range. Yeah. Uh, stroke treatment, so the hand, in this case just on the extensors because our objective here is pain and lymphatic drainage. If there is lots of retraction on the flexors, then we have to also apply it on the flexors, but in his case it's not necessary at the moment.